Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, you might recognize me from three and a half years ago when I started to travel the world with my family after going all into Bitcoin. We sold our house, our companies, everything we owned, went all in Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Three and a half years later now, we are coming to you from Alicante in Spain, still traveling the world. We are going to start a really cool adventure from Monday. So that's why I'm making short videos the last two days because I need all the time for all the preparations I need to do for Monday. And today again, it's a big day because I need to pick something up that I need for the next three months. I will give you more and more hints every day in the videos and it will be an exciting time ahead of us, but I will only give you this hint today. I'm going to pick it up today and I will need it for three months. And yes, if you look to the video I tweeted yesterday, you see a hint in this video that we will use in the next couple of months. It's going to be an exciting time, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell and you make all your family and friends subscribe to the channel because we are going to do something really awesome for you guys, for the crypto community, for everybody out there. We want to create really cool entertainment to support this beautiful industry 24 7 as a family as the bitcoin family and not only the five-headed bitcoin family but a huge bitcoin family including you guys for supporting me by watching these videos etc don't waste too much time didi on chit chatting because then the video will be longer than 10 minutes let's jump into the charts let's take this chart first bam yes this chart is a day chart on this day chart, you can see that Bitcoin is now hovering around 10,300 US dollar. You can see on this chart that the 100 moving average is around 10K and the 200 moving average is around 9K. If we would break this 10K level, in my opinion, we would fall back to the 9K level again. If you took, if you look to the left on the chart that way, you can see this pink area. This pink area was a huge resistance area. This area was around 9,900 US dollar. When we broke this pink area to the upside, this area is now a support area because we fought this area. You can see it. We, we touched this pink area many times then we broke above it. Now we are falling back to this area again. And now it's a support area because that is exactly the reason why we call it a support area. So in my opinion, we will hold this 9,900 level of support and we go upwards from here to 11K, even 12K. Because if you look at the stock RSI, on the bottom of the chart, you can see that we are on the bottom of the stock RSI and the blue line is curling up again. So the blue line crossed over the red line and it's curling up. When this happened, mostly the price reacts as well. So when this RSI is going up, the price will go up as well. And that will mean we will have a beautiful support area of 10K bounced back up to 10,200, 300. And now we need to break the 10,500 level. When we break this 10,500 level, we will soon be back again around 11K to 12K. The 10,500 10, level is the level now to break. The most important thing we want to see on the charts now is a four hour or a one day candle close above the 10,500 level. If we see a four hour candle or a one day candle close above this level, we will soon see 11K or 12K. Sorry, I need to let some car, cars pass by, but then we would be soon around 11 or 12k again. And of course, I hear you already thinking and saying, and some of my followers will already be commenting now, Didi, Didi, we have a CME gap, we have a CME gap to fill. Yes, I know guys, there is a CME gap to fill, like you can see on this chart, bam. On this chart, you can see this area, this pinkish area again to the left. If you look to the left on the chart, you can see a gap in between to these in between the candles. Many people think we need to fill this gap. It could be possible that this time we won't fill this gap. But to be honest, that would be the first time a CME gap on a daily chart won't be filled. What we can see till now is that every dip that we saw to around 9,700, 9,800, 
snapped up again to the upside to 10k to 10,200 US dollar. So there is a support at 9,900 US dollar that is keeping us from going down to, sub to fill the CME gap. I don't think we are going to do this now. I think we are going to go upwards from here and maybe, maybe fill the CME gap somewhere in the far future after a few months because it has happened in the past as well. And if not, maybe this will be the first time we won't fill a CME gap because why would we need to fill CME gaps? I don't see the reason why we should, we should fill this one because it is only there because some exchange was sleeping at that time. The people working at that exchange were sleeping and the Bitcoin price closed at a certain price and then opened at a higher price because these guys were doing their nappy nappy. So why would we need to fill this gap? There is no reason. There is, in my opinion, not a logic, logical reason for this. Maybe it has to do with this traditional world of stocks that in the traditional world, these gaps were always filled. But why would this be necessary in this new world where stocks are being traded like Bitcoin and crypto, other cryptocurrencies 24 seven day in, day out. But let's see what will happen. If we take a look to the Bitcoin on-chain volume, bam, this one, we can see that we just created a one year high when it comes to volume. We saw a 3.2 million US dollar volume on the 9th of September. This is a new one year high. So this is the highest point since the last year, which also kind of is a little bit strange because we can see that the volume on exchanges is dropping. Exchanges are responsible for about 3.6% of this volume you see. So 3.6% of this 3.2 million US dollar is uh, done by exchanges. And this 3.6% is the same as about 115,000 bitcoins in volume on these exchanges. Does this mean that these exchanges now are slowly going downwards? No, because most of the centralized exchanges don't show on this on-chain data because they do the transaction off-chain. So the on-chain data you can see is that the people that are depositing or withdrawing Bitcoins from these exchanges. But the volume created in these exchanges, that one you can't see mostly in these numbers because these transactions are not being done on-chain but off-chain. If we look further into the charts, we can see that there is an increase of activity on all the exchanges. So yes, it could mean that more and more BTC is being moved through OTC deals over the counter, which is what all these whales are doing because whales and huge investment funds, they are not buying their Bitcoins on an exchange. They are buying the Bitcoins, for example, from miners directly through an OTC deal, which you won't be able to see in these numbers. But we saw 3.2 million US dollar one year high in Bitcoin volume. Very positive as well. If you want to make some money aside of trading, then please take a look at Binance because Binance is giving away 100 million US dollar to projects that want to develop something related to DeFi on the Binance blockchain. So if you're a developer, take a look at the Binance fund because they are giving away, I think, 100k per project to support you in developing some crazy cool DeFi token application or project um, on the Binance blockchain. So if you want to make some money, go to Binance, apply to a piece of the 100 million they are investing now in companies to start to develop on the Binance blockchain. Really cool initiative from Binance. And why is Binance doing this? Because of course, Binance is also seeing this change from these Bitcoins moving into this DeFi industry, being locked up in the industry, uh, mainly by wrapped BTC, for example. But they also saw that the change was huge because a week ago, 67,000 Bitcoins were wrapped up in the DeFi industry. And now 87,000 Bitcoins are wrapped up in this industry. So that's a 20,000 increase, which is about 30% increase in just one week. Binance, of course, is seeing this and wants to be part of this whole DeFi hype. So they need to have projects developing. So hmm, if you want to develop, go to Binance, get your 100K and, and create a beautiful DeFi project on the Binance blockchain. The biggest amount of Bitcoins is uh, locked up in wrapped BTC, WBTC. About 50% of all the locked up Bitcoins is locked up in the wrapped BTC protocol. And I think the second biggest one is REV. They do about 30% of the wrapped Bitcoin volume. So also a good project to take a look at. Um, wrapped BTC and REV VM. Uh, but
but be aware guys these DeFi projects they can also be scams like you could see there is another exit scam of 20 million us dollar there was a project called ifdexf.finance i think it was they got 20 million locked up in their DeFi protocol and they did and then they did an exit scam so they just left all these investors without giving them anything back they just got 20 million dollar richer and the guys that invested in this DeFi hype project they got 20 million us dollar poorer in the total so be aware that not all these DeFi projects are as trustable so please do your research before you invest blindly in one of these DeFi projects these hypes many hypes but just do your research if it is a trustable project if it is a trustable team if they really have a case a use case if they really are building something the reviews all that stuff please do your research before you buy these coins it is not always easy to just buy a coin take a thousand percent ride and then sell it mostly that doesn't happen so there's also a huge step that you step into one of these scam coins so please be aware what you do and if you're not sure then please comment below this video with one of these projects you want to invest in because i will take a look at them for you as well and if you don't want to support this whole crypto industry guys you can also support the irs because also the irs is giving away 625,000 us dollar to a project that is going to break the monero crypto or the lightning network because they want to break all these privacy coins so if you don't want to work with binance you can always switch to the IRS and take their bounty of 625,000 US dollar and try to break Monero or the Lightning Network and help them with tracking everybody down that is in crypto. I would never do this. Even if they would pay me 10 million or 20 million US dollar, I would never join forces with the IRS to create something to find all these beautiful people that are now investing in this new industry of cryptocurrency and to tax them down till they bankrupt again. For me, not an option to work together with the IRS. Um, I would prefer the Binance co-op then and uh, to create a project to screw the IRS. But again, who am I? I'm just a guy walking here in Spain in nature and soon we'll leave to another place, beautiful place in this world. So you have two options if you want to make some money or you go to binance and you support the crypto industry or you go to the irs and you disrupt this crypto industry i don't think there will be a lot of people from the crypto industry that will apply for the irs job but maybe a lot of these people how do you call them in dutch we call them pennelikkers which means they stick up their arm in the ass of the one above them a lot of these will probably apply for this job at the irs and bam this is a commercial no not a commercial you can win a free t-shirt if you give me the correct answer guys the first one that will comment below with the correct answer to this question i will give a 100 percent discount to order a t-shirt on our online shop at the bitcoinfamily.com who's the artist of the song that i'm going to sing and which date was the song released it's all about don't worry be happy don't worry be happy don't you worry be happy the artist of this song and the date that the song was released and you will make a chance on winning a cool crypto t-shirt so please comment below the artist and the date the song was released that was the short video for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your community and family subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video i make and please tell your friends and family to subscribe to the channel as well because we are almost reaching 10k subscribers to our youtube channel which is a huge achievement for us and guys believe me also they don't want to miss what we are going to do the next three months it's going to be a really cool and awesome thing that we are going to do i need to watch out that i'm not saying what is at the tip of my tongue because i almost i almost told you guys what we are going to do but we will keep that too after the weekend enjoy your day always remember zoom out in crypto zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bye